If your doctor has put you on a low phosphorus diet, it's important for you to understand what this means and what to look out for as you make some dietary adjustments. Phosphorus is a mineral found in many common types of foods. When too much phosphorus builds up in your body, it can cause itching, bone and joint pain, weak and brittle bones, and the hardening of blood vessels. Keep your phosphorus level under control and in goal range is important because it reduces the likelihood of experiencing these symptoms. Processed and fast food items should be limited or avoided altogether in your diet. Phosphorus is commonly found in these items in the form of food additives. Some examples of foods to watch out for are pizza, chocolate, soda, hot dogs, chicken nuggets, biscuits, waffles and pancakes, either from box mixes or prepared at restaurants. The amount of phosphorus found in food does not have to be listed on the food label, which can make it difficult to figure out how much phosphorus is in each food item. Look at the ingredient list and see if phosphate or phos is part of any of the words. These indicate that the food contains phosphorus. For instance, sodium tripolyphosphate or phosphoric acid are some additives containing phosphorus that you may find on the ingredient list. Here are some tips you can use to lower your phosphorus intake. Choose fresh ingredients that may not have been processed, preserved, or artificially enhanced in any way. Try to prepare meals from scratch instead of prepackaged alternatives. For example, a cup of boxed mac and cheese with cheese sauce has nearly three times the amount of phosphorus as a cup of noodles made with a little margarine, garlic powder, parmesan, and parsley. And last but not least, look out for the hidden phosphorus additives in the ingredient section of your food label, avoiding foods containing the words phosphate or phos. So a little pre-planning and awareness of the ingredients in your foods can go a long way towards helping you maintain a wholesome and healthy lifestyle. Remember, this information is not intended to be a substitute for your medical advice. You should check with your physician and or dietitian before you make any changes to your diet.